everyone, welcome to Doing Dental School. My name is Kajal Khatri, I'm a senior at Marquette University and I just got into dental school, which is so beyond exciting. So I created this platform just to create sort of a virtual mentorship where I can share my experience with others and we can all kind of help each other achieve our goals. So if you want to stick around, make sure you subscribe down below and then also follow me on all of my social media, which is also linked down below as well. So today I quickly wanted to share just how to log your shadowing hours and your service hours. It's something that you kind of hear all the time, like, hey, make sure you write down all of your experiences, but no one really gave me like how to actually do that. Like no one told me how. And so I, when I was an undergrad, I created just a spreadsheet that I kept for myself. And I just copied and pasted that and created a template for you guys that I'm gonna share and kind of walk you through how I use it too. But before I get to how to actually use the template, I'm just gonna share a little bit about why it's so important to actually track all of your stuff. So the first thing is that when you go to apply, the application, whether you're applying to dental school, medical school, whatever professional school you're applying to, they're gonna ask you how many hours have you shadowed and what dental service do you have and what, what experiences do you have and how many hours you have of this experience. So it's good to track all of this. I also found it helpful aside from just knowing the amount of hours that you shadowed or did service or whatever you did, I found it helpful to really write down my experiences because going back and looking at, at those meaningful experiences really helped me create my personal statement and it also helped me explain to my letter writers when I was asking for personal statements why I just wanted to be in this profession, why I was pursuing what I was pursuing. And lastly, it also just keeps everything organized. You don't wanna just have like a million notes on your phone of all of your shadowing experiences and all of the hours that you have. Like it's good to have it in all in a centralized place so that you can just keep yourself organized and it'll come in handy later. All right, so now jumping into actually what you're probably here for is just learning how to use this template and what the template is. So I have the template linked down below. This is the exact same thing that I use to track my own hours. Literally copied and pasted it and add some color. So it's really helpful. I found it super helpful and it's nothing really fancy either. Like it's nothing too crazy. But I think it's helpful knowing from someone who's already been through the application process what's important to keep track of and what is good to kind of write down and make sure you have straight. All right, so I'm sharing my screen here. Hopefully you can see it. And if you see me looking down, I have my laptop here, so that's why. But the first thing you're gonna do when you open up this template is make a copy of it. So I created it as a view only file so that you know if you put your stuff in there, the whole world or anyone that sees this template is not gonna see all of your shadow experiences. So what you're gonna do is go up to file and then hit make a copy. And then that, once you like click that, it'll create a new copy in a separate tab so that it's saved to your own Google Drive. That way no one else is seeing what you put in there. All right, so moving into how you actually use this template. So as you can see, there are two tabs at the bottom. There's shadow hours and service hours. So they're very similar. They look really similar. There's just a few differences in the two of them. So with shadow hours, um, there's the date. You can put the doctor that you shadowed and maybe their address so that you don't forget who you shadowed that day. A location, so maybe the name of the clinic or the address of the clinic. Time of day, um, it's just kind of, I don't know, it helps me jog my memory of whether I was shadowing in the morning or the evening or like whatever it may be. You can put the number of hours and then your experience. The experience portion is so important because you wanna put, first of all, what you saw that day to just kind of jog your memory of like, okay, you wanna be able to remember that day that you shadowed. It also allows you kind of some space to just reflect, think of questions that you might wanna ask the dentist next time you go there. You know, it's just a time for you to kind of just go through and understand what you saw and use that information in the future. Sometimes you'll look back, I look back at my experience all the time and it helped me kind of jog my memory of like yeah this is why I'm working so hard or when I was writing my personal statement I looked back at my experiences and I was like oh my gosh like this is what I want to write about I remember this so clearly so it's just a good way to kind of just keep track of all of your hours the nice thing about this also is that when you put your number of hours in so say today I shadowed eight hours I'm gonna put eight there as you can see the total hours change so that just will automatically add up which is kind of nice too I'm gonna take that out. Um, okay, and then if you go to service hours, as you can see, it's pretty similar. 
But the difference here, I don't have a doctor name, but instead a contact. So say if you are doing a certain service event or if you're shadowing at, or sorry, volunteering at a certain clinic, maybe you can put the volunteer coordinator's contact information there so that when you're inputting all of the stuff on your application, it's really easy and all of the resources are there for you. The other thing that I added here is if it's dental related or not. So in some of my previous videos, I've mentioned that it's important to have dental related experiences and non-dental related experiences. And that also comes with service. You wanna be serving your community through dentistry, but then also outside of dentistry as well. And so here, if you just click this little arrow right here, you can hit yes or no, um, whether it's dental related or not. And that way it's just a good way to keep things separated in your mind. So that is a whole template. It is linked down below, so make sure you go check it out. All right, so that is it. That's how simple it is. That's how I kept track of my shadow hours and my service hours. Hopefully this is helpful to you guys. I found it super helpful, so hopefully it helps at least someone out there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if you wanna join the Doing Dental School family and kind of follow along my dental school journey, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.